Harper passed away, we decided, we, we knew beforehand that we wanted to um, donate her tissue, brain, and blood to scientific research um, in order to kind of give her life here a little more meaning and purpose. Uh, well, today was Harper's birthday. Uh, it's uh, yeah, kind of a, a sad day for us, um, but it's also a happy day. Uh, Harper was able to donate uh, some tissue samples post-mortem to research, and we were fortunate enough to come out here to San Diego and uh, visit the facility where the research is being done. We actually start by uh, using cells that were derived from the patients, and this could be skin cells, hair cells, dental pulp cells. By doing that, we can generate what we call cerebral organoids, or mini brains. Um, so they uh, contain some kind of the cortical organization that we see in our brains, and that allows us really to understand a little bit more about the circuitry that are involved, and, and if they are affected or not in these neurological disorders. It has CDK05 on it. Oh, and HH, Harper Howard. <laughs> Is that what that stands for? <laughs> She's so cute. Sorry. That's a picture dish. Get a picture. You don't have a picture. I see her as there. That, that is her, that's her cell, she's alive, she's still here, she's just in a new phase. I think this allows us to, um, you know, to, to see her legacy uh, live on and it's not her, but it's a piece of her. So, I mean, it's gonna be hard, but you know, it'll be happy as well. So they, uh, these cells, they have the potency to become any tissue in the body. Wow, yeah. really? Wow. Anything. And then you, repro you reprogram it to become, to become whatever you what want. To become what you need it to be. Right, yeah. right. right. We uh, keep an eye on, on, on the effects of CBD, THC in, in the brain. Uh, we are definitely aware that some families have been testing uh, hemp oil and have like successful results. Um, but uh, we definitely see a, a a consistency on the um, decrease of the neuronal firing noise that we see in these network cultures. Uh, so if this is true, that may be the mechanism why uh, this may be help, helping to control some of the seizure uh, activities that we see in some of those kids. Really what this means for seizure research is that they have a human brain to look at. To have a human brain that does seize, to be able to study that with this disorder is huge. So that's one of the first differences that we see from neurological disorders, autism, Rett syndrome, CDK05. The synchronization is messed up. They, they are not making the proper connections to have this kind of talk. Uh, many of those disorders, um, the, the target of them is, is the synapses, is the neuronal connection, right? And, uh, and it's just a matter of where in your brain and when. So it is possible that if we find a drug that works for autism, it would be helpful for Alzheimer, and vice versa. Can I put it on? I don't want to contaminate. Tell me what you want to do. Just, just let me know. Okay. Well, you let me know. I don't want to mess her up. You know. So the fact that we can systematically test the different kind of cannabinoids in different concentrations, in different um, rates inside the same extract, or even chemically defined molecules 
will, will allow us to find what is the best, what, what, what works and what works for each person. So this is really the, the beginning of personalized medicine. With the ultimate donation, she leaves a legacy that can really impact science to the point of actually maybe finding a cure. You're so very glad you're here on a you're Saturday. Very welcome. Thank you so much for all that you Thank do you. Thank and you very continue much. to do. I can't wait to see you in June. You're very yes. welcome. Yes. Awesome. Nice to you. Nice Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for opening up everything for us. And I am sad because I wish she were here with us celebrating her sixth birthday, but I know that she is doing what she's doing is more powerful than what she would be had she been here. You know, obviously, you know, we would rather have Harper here, you know, but um, I do. Uh, take some comfort in the fact that she will have helped um, you know many children. She had a legacy that would live on and um, she's in it's at a new phase of her life now and a new beginning and I'm here so I can see that new beginning and it wasn't an end to her it was a new beginning for her and I, I, I love that.